Wonderful welcome souls and spirits, it's your girl students, it's souls here and welcome to another exciting video and yeah and welcome back to what remains of Edith Finch. So I have actually done the entire like game, like I played this all in one go and now I'm just going to be throwing this little intro in for just the fun of it. So anyways without further ado, let's just continue. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, but protect you from what exactly? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're struggling just to open the lid. Well, down the ladder we go. <laughs> Edith does it Maybe differently to Walter's. Like Walter. Well, how would you think she'll be afraid of you ending up like Walter? Like but living in a bunker? Told me about an uncle under the house. Well, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Probably a lot of other I secrets. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Um, okay. Well, let's go through the hole. Still alive. Oh, okay. It's darker down here. And we're physically right outside the hole, whereas with Walter, he was like a few... There's only one of us left. Maybe two. Or maybe two? If I Where are you going? The stories for myself. <laughs> and found out what happened to everyone else. But now you I listen the stories themselves might be the problem. Yeah, I- Maybe how though? so much in a family curse. We made it real. Wow. Okay, we got, uh, Walter's little tombstone, or... No, it's a, it's his little grave. Look, there's the train that he probably got ran over. A truck, candles, a train hat. It's so sad, like... Also, wasn't this the train tracks? I'm surprised that over time it just broke in the mountain, like, ship-shaped everything. I don't know why I said that. I don't know if I should even be writing this. But you are. For a reason. Um, why is there a chair stuck in the tree? Oh, look at the full moon. It's so pretty. Also, look at the, like, the detail effects on the cloud, like the tips of it. That's nice. I'm actually, that's actually good quality right there. Okay, I, I'm getting too distracted by Maybe little details. Maybe just died with me. <laughs> but you just written it all down in a book. But I what think is you should know about your family. Yeah, your family history. What is this thing? What is this thing? I'm glad for the lights helping me, but wait a minute. It's the totems! Okay, thank you, uh, narration. So much for Rockies on the sand. But the totems! They're, I think they each represent the children. The five ch children? And... The totems were in Barbara's story. Okay, now everything is starting to catch up to me. You get a good view of the house. The back of it, I think? Huh. <laughs> Interesting that we- that the finches live somewhat near a beach. Okay, what is that in the distance? I know way further in the back that's like the sunken house, the original house, Odin's house. But there's like a platform with like... Bike ramps? Like, you know where you chain your bikes to? What is that? Just... It's like a raft. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just keep moving on. We got a broken docks. And... Nothing else seems honest, to be... I feel as lost as you probably do right now. <laughs> I'm just confused. I think At least the lights are helping me. Believed them for what that's worth. Maybe because they're creative? I don't know. I'm trying my best not to over-narrate you, uh, Edith. I'm just focusing on the lawn chair. Well, let's just keep on moving. Up the stairs we go. It's a long walk down to this house. That history of imagination and stubbornness 
in madness. Madness? Anything seems possible. Okay. So, we're kind of in the backyard. Am I right? I don't... Where am I? No, that looks like the out, out, like the deck for the back door. I can't go over there. So, I guess I can only go over here because there's the broken swing. So, I guess I through we've here. Been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. I. Th I'm pretty sure the death is the curse. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> Probably your family, Edith. Because I never even know another family like that. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... But what? The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. I'll say, look at all these pets right here. Oh Three my goodness. Two had been my fault. So you've had three gerbils, and two you accidentally killed. How old were you when you had them? Oh my goodness. So many tombstones. I mean, you are a big family, so of course you would have a lot of pets, but I did not expect that much. Oh, Bailey! Oh no, I'm thinking of a dog's purpose. But my name's Bailey. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. So it was Edie who designed the tombstones, I believe. So we got Molly Finch, the cat with the angel wings. Okay, that's cute. I love that. Um, we got Calvin, the rocket and the moon, because he wants to be an astronaut, but his dreams died when he was little. R.I.P. It's, it's sad, yet beautiful. And also I saw that somewhere, the style design. But we got Sven with the saw, and Edie with the book and words. Maybe she was like some type of writer or artist. I don't know. Uh, Walter, what? what is this? It's just a pile of rocks. There's a hole here and oh, oh, so sad and cute. It's Walter like walking out of the tunnels to look out at the sunlight and the trees and then got hit over, ran over by a train. Okay, that's a little sad, yet beautiful. And we got Barbara, and she, of course, she's a star. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Yeah, like, look at this monument! I mean, can I just take a good look at this monument? It's so big! She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Ah, like the tips of the house, maybe? Can I just also look at... Um, so this is the house and Odin. If Odin was at the bottom of the sea, then how is he buried here? Or he could be buried at the bottom of the sea. I don't know. Maybe they found his body and buried it under this monument? I don't know. I don't see a ye name or a year date on it. Oh, look at this. The side was always easier for me to understand. Okay, well, I... <laughs> Thank you for giving me the text. But I just want to look at this. We got Edith and Sven and little baby Molly. Oh. On the little boat and they're like, and Sven's like, no Odin. <laughs> no, my father-in-law. Okay. We got, it's a really good view of the mountains and the ocean and lights probably of the other houses in the distance. Let's look. Ooh, it's blurry. Wait. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Every night for the rest of her life? Wow. Also, I think it's stuck near some buoyant, like that's glowing red, and I can easily tell that the house is decaying so much. And I think a lot of the broken house resources were sw swam away. And Edith, uh, not Edith, Edie must have used them for the house. If she was going to expand it and all. Okay, let's just... More family cemetery! Yay! But the older I get, 
the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Where she was coming from, really? Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Okay, we got Gregory Finch, Sam Finch, and Gus Finch. Huh. I like how Gus and Sam have some paper thing in the front, whereas Gregory has nothing. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. <laughs> she didn't want to fail. But we got Milton Finch, Sanjay Kuma, who's, I guess, in, is Edith's dad. And why is it named Kuma? Don't you usually take the male's last name when you're married? But Lewis Finch. Okay, let's read we this. We never found Milton's body. So my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it says born, but you could have also added, like, disappeared, and then the date of Milton disappearing. I mean, it could... I don't know if Milton is alive or not. Well, she mentioned maybe two, so there it could be a sign that Milton could be alive, and she... And he... There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And uncover. Find everything out for myself. Exactly. But just that. I guess up the ladder we go. Hope it doesn't break. Because it looks pretty old. Oh, is this like a tree house? Wait, wasn't I here when I was M Molly the cat? But looking back on it now. Looking back on it now? What? What do you mean? Ooh. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Edith! You scandalous! You're 22 weeks pregnant? Okay, well, we gotta be careful to get you safely across this tree branch. Hope it does not break on you, missy. Okay. And... Did it break? Ah, strong... Strong branch. Okay. What is this place? Come to think of it, I do see a baby bump now. Yeah, I kind of see it. But Edith, I have one question, if you don't mind me asking. Um, who's the father? And up some more ladders we go. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. And what is that, actually? What did they have in common? I mean, like father, like daughter. They Whoa! Were both pretty intense. Okay, I'm sorry for that camera, for the camera angle just flying off out of nowhere. But there's a bear mat. We got bedroom. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. I well, clearly, I think he's been a well, he's been in war. He's a soldier. That's impressive. Oh, we got another peephole in a door. Guess we won't see. Oh my goodness! Look at you, kiss cat. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Lots of books. Uh, what is this? Okay. Didn't like Edith say his first wife K. So. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out as I go. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. <laughs> He's camera shy, but... Okay, so there's family. I believe that's... The woman, the older woman next to Sam is probably Kay, the first wife. Because I think... Yeah, there were two boys. I think the baby's a boy? I don't know. Oh, but we got a uh, Sam's memorial. And what is this? Oh, it's it's just photos. Why did he take a photo of himself when he was camera shy? <laughs> okay. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be... Can I take photos because I'm angling around? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Cool, I'm gonna take photos of everything. Eh, there we go. Shouldn't we be leaving? 
Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Okay. Well, are you Don? What? <laughs> what? And you just close your book. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I'm trying to take photos of everything, Don. Okay. Where are you? Oh, I think I see you. It was blurry. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. <coughs> That's the spirit. Wait a minute. Odin Finch National Park? Wait. Was the reason why the park was named after Odin Finch was the story of when he drags his house in into the middle of the ocean? Or, it, or was it his family's fortune and misfortune that made him popular for the National Park or something? I have a feeling it's mostly okay, that. Got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Okay. Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Okay, that's a good photo. Because of the birds. Ooh, another birdie. Snip. Aw. <laughs> Aw. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. I definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. Do we have to take a photo of this? Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. I still want to take a picture of you. I'm just saying. I'm oh. not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. Wow. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Whoa! Okay. I'm just going to take photos of stuff. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Oh, I can kind of see that it was Bambi. But I want to take a photo of the, uh, the dad as well. So, there we go. And also some signs, if I can just get the, it right. I'm struggling just to find the writing. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Now, how about... I noticed the Bambi. So... Oh, it's so cute. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. What? Oh, okay. I'm Sam again, I guess. Dad... Okay. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Oh! You don't have to do anything. <gasps> but if you want to survive, you need to be strong. No! Do you, are you telling me I have to take a photo of Bambi getting shot? No! Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. I'm so sorry. Great shot, Don. Oh! I am the girl right now. Uh, I like uh, Sam's face in the shot, but I need a good angle of, like, her and Bambi. Maybe that angle's fine, or a little closer, or just closer. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that's fine? Okay. Oh, I'm moving! Always remember that. Okay. Oh, it's on a time limit, so I have to hurry to the Bambi. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. It. Okay. <laughs> what a way to go. I mean. Okay. Through this door we go. Another little attic area. Seriously, what? Like, it's a storage attic area? I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a good storage room. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They would both lost a lot. Clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Okay, now let's just... Oh, it's a baby cage. Because I see a baby crib. So we got Gregory's little um, mem 
memorial thing, and he was a baby! Oh. Ooh, wait, divorce! Kay, Carly, and Sam Finch. Okay, well, I... Well, Edith said first wife, so of course... Sam and Kay must have gotten divorced, but if she was the first wife, then that means Sam had to remarry or something. I don't know. But, um... She mentioned first wife Kay, if I am correct. So, it's pretty obvious and simple that, of course, he had to remarry. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like, something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I played as the baby! Ooh! I think he saw things the rest of us don't. I'm conducting a duck and a frog. <laughs> I'm, oh, I love the music. Does Gregory want to be a little musician? Oh, oh I can move the frog! Oh, this is so cool! Let me try and get the name. I see the letters. Let me try and get them. Sweetie. Hello? Oh, how'd you get there, Froggy? Sam, I told you I don't want to sleep right now. <laughs> Whee! <gasps> oh, duckies with bubbles! <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get the ducks and the bubbles as well as the letters off from the side of the buff, and it said Gregory as well, like the Magna words. It's it's a little difficult to control the frog sometimes. Reminded me so much of Cal. Really? Your your baby son. <laughs> Whatever it was he saw. Wee! Oh. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, I think an astronaut toy got stuck in the whale. I'll fix you! I'll fix you! Oh my goodness, this is so much fun! Oh my goodness. Let me just bounce on you. Oh my goodness, this is so hard! It's it's really hard to like control a frog. Come down here! Whee! Ah! Okay, it looks like I gotta get that bar of because there are words around it. I love the song that's playing. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't caught that night. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, so it looks like we're turning the water back on. So Okay. I wish he could have told us. Told you what? Well, he's a baby. What? Oh, duckies in bubbles. Get. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Woo! Uh, wait. What? Oh. Oh, I'm in the bathtub. But everything looks like underwater, and I think I'm a frog. Oh, okay. Everyone else is waiting for me. I'm coming. Get out of here. Ooh, the plug. Why is the plug coming out? Oh. Through the plug. Sam. That's beautiful. <laughs> I have no other words than just beautiful. Yet sad. Okay, we got little Gregory. Why does Gregory have a little locker and he was only a baby? We got Dawn. Um, that's been uh, pretty much... Okay, we got another memorial with uh, Gus. Wait a minute. Strength, respect, and teamwork. I didn't notice the posters until I can't now. I imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... 
yet she did for Gus? A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Oh, wedding! My father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Ah, so... So, I guess the dad did remarry? Or is it someone else? No, I'm pretty sure... Walt, no, I don't think it's Walter, because he was in a bunker for like 30 years. <laughs> it's My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm controlling the kite and I'm trying to run through the words. It's so I tried cool. To talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you. Husband and wife. <laughs> I like the little figurines down there, but so apparently it's Sam. Of course, so Sam did get remarried, but I guess we never. Do we know the stepmom's name, or I guess we never know, or maybe we find out later. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just too busy playing with the kite. Oh, it feels like years since I've last played a kite. Ooh, more words. Come here, words. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> okay. Did not expect that. It's I'm trying to run for all the words. The panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Ah. Apparently you don't know what happens. It's apparently starting to get stormy. Ooh, cool! I'm collecting all the chairs. The came down the buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Oh, this is so fun! Much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Whoa, lightning. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Over the totems. What? I wish that... You wished what exactly? Ooh, more lightning! Okay. You wish that what? Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. What? Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. What? Okay, now I'm just confused. Like, how is that possible, though? Probably lightning? Oh, we got duties and stuff on here. Um... You get a good view of the night sky. Like, look at all the pretty twinkling little stars. Ooh, rock climbing. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Oh. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <laughs> really? I mean, but you... So you moved up a level. I mean, but you look down and see your bro your the dead brothers' beds. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. And as well as her brothers. Oh, India and Dawn. What's this? She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. Oh, they look cute together. Oh. Okay. So, that's my that's mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. And Matt Sanjay was born a year later. Oh. Okay. So, this is we're right around near the front again. 
So can we go down the stairs? Okay, we can't because everything is. Dad died. I don't think Mom knew where else to go. So sh did she decide to come? I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. <laughs> okay, so she decided to come back here. Look, we got Edith, which is me, Milton, and Lewis. Why is Milton the one with the biggest garden bed? Well, I mean, Dawn has the biggest one as well, so... I guess. That's just that. had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. But, wait. Did she expand it, like, off... Like, because after the slide incident, I'm pretty sure it was off the spend pass, would she expand it on her own, or...? Things were good. Almost normal. I guess she also homeschooled the f the family as well because there's a multiplication tables, uh, analyze objectively, never stop learning, assume nothing, uh, respect criticism, and ask tough questions. All that stuff. Awesome and great job stickers and books and another gerbil. Seriously, a lot of pets. <laughs> if there's a big pet. Mm. Well, we got Edith. And Lewis and Milne, so of course she must have homeschooled mostly Edith and her brothers, but we got observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, and conclusion. That's just... So they were just pretty much homeschooled. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Ooh, she built him a little castle. And this was also his bedroom. We got Milton 1992. And his death, unknown. Okay, well, let's look through uh, this little people. I mean, maybe from 1992 she could have did, like, disappeared. After or Milton disappeared, unknown the death. he left behind was a room full of paintings. Oh. And uh, what I'm trying to say is for Milton... That she could like they could have just done 1992 dash na because Milton could have already been dead or he could still be alive. You just we just never know. Let's open up this window right here. Okay, easy, Edith. Okay, easy. Okay, we got paint, like golden footprints. I think he has tiny little feet, so of course he ran away as a kid. Um. But why is the footprints leading to the door? Ooh, look at the diorama! And all these... This is actually impressive for like a 10 or 11. I Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Of course, for like a... I don't know, like for a little kid, that's... This is impressive art. I can never draw as good as that. I guess we gotta climb up here because that's where the foots are. Ooh, a little obser observatory, like a little, oh, a little artist area, extra painting area. Ah, well, you kind of also get a good view of the ocean, even if there are tree leaves blocking away. Yet another memorial. Well, is it a memorial? All that's left here is a flip book. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Ooh, he reading a little story. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that is so cool. Like, I like that. Achoo! Oh, flipbookception right there. So it's him painting... It's him painting the door. And it opened. And then... Just disappears straight after. The story never finishes. But anyway, Spirituals, I'm sadly going to have to leave it there. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, give your love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if you have other videos you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. Also, I have done a whole playthrough on this and I thought it would be best if I just split this off into parts. So anyways, goodbye and have a spiritual day.